accessible station. The elevator is at the rear of the platform. New York City. I've called this place home for the past seven years and it's been the most educational time of my life. New York is the land of passion, fashion, creation, and you guessed it, 99 cent pizza. But today is all about the books and more importantly, where you can get them thrifted. Here are some of my all time favorite used bookstores in the city. I feel it's only right to start with the shopping section of the city, Soho. And here I am in front of Housing Works Bookstore in Soho. Unfortunately, it's covered by scaffolding, which is a New York staple, but we gotta work with what we gotta work with. This was one of the first used bookstores that I came to in the city that showed me how exciting and magical New York City used bookstores could be. There's really no other way to tell you how great it is unless I show you inside. Let's go. Oi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Housing Works has been servicing the downtown area for nearly a decade and fosters a community of artists, book lovers, and warmth throughout. It's a donation-based institution with even its staff consisting of all volunteers. Selection is always fresh with a constant emphasis on maintaining a low price for all to access. And it's not only books, baby. There's a huge record and CD collection to shop. And if one floor wasn't good enough, you can sleep easy knowing there's two stories for your heart to smile over. of Mercer Street Books. I saw a TikToker do a photo shoot in front of this once and I support that design decision. This is an amazing bookstore that has been here for years and what I love about it is that you go downward and you feel like you're getting lost in a little tunnel of books. So let's check it out. Street has been here for 33 years and it's truly one of a kind. Specializing in used and out of print books, it's a place that caters to the creative. And I think the inside of this totally speaks for itself. And this is Book Thug Nation, arguably my most visited bookstore due to the proximity of my home. It is one of the most intimate and small on the list, but one that I love nonetheless. This specializes in a lot of rare and unseen art books and things that you might overlook in regular stores. I love it. I'm a little bit nervous to film. Let's see how it goes. Thug Nation was originally opened by three sidewalk booksellers who wanted a constant home for their collection. Curated, cool, and intensely personal, I always enjoy my experience here. And their record player is always bumping some great tunes. 
<laughs> this one is primarily a thrift store, but I do find that I find some of the best books in the back. There's a little book section. Let's have fun. Let's check it out. Reporting for duty. Let's go. Oh my god, I love you so much. So yeah, this is another Housing Works. Sue me. But this particular store feels like it embodies the phrase small but mighty. Or at least... I think that that's how the phrase goes. Anyway, I never fail to find a book either I or someone I know will love. And hey, if you can't find a book, I'm sure you'll find something else to love in this store. I've been to this place before, but you know what? I have a better camera now, and so I want to give you a more detailed tour onto one of my absolute gem stone of a bookstores in the city. It's the Big Reuse, and it's great. Come on. This is hands down my favorite used bookstore in the city, so let's just let the montage do its work. Enjoy. You get any books? No. Oh, I like got person. some wood. I'm not a book person. It's okay. I am. And I didn't buy any books. I didn't. I didn't get any books. Because I have some discretion. I got a puzzle though. So, Forty-nine cents. Door is open. 